So in this video, we're going to introduce some basic concepts in accounting that will serve as the foundation for the double entry bookkeeping system, which is used in businesses all across the world. So we're going to have a look at what assets, liabilities and equity are and go over the accounting equation. So I've got a couple of definitions here for assets and liabilities. Rather than expecting you to just memorize the sentences, let's try and break it down into certain key characteristics that you can look for when trying to determine if something is an asset or a liability. So under assets, we've got economic resources that are owned and controlled by an entity. And this will be our first key characteristic as the result of past events. This will be number two. And it is held in order to provide a future economic benefit. So that'll be number three. So in order to classify something as an asset, you need to own and control it. Now this is where you could bring up the question of, are employees assets of a business? Because you may have heard an employer once say, our employees are our best assets. But of course, an employee is not an asset because you do not own them. You do have a certain degree of control over them in that you can tell them what to do in their job, but you certainly do not own people. Part of this ownership in this context is transferability. So if you own an asset, you are able to transfer that ownership to another entity, and you certainly cannot sell your employees to another business. So the second one was that the ownership had to come about as a result of a past event. So you need to actually be able to pinpoint how you gained ownership of that asset. It could be that you created the asset yourself or that the ownership was transferred from another entity to yourself. And finally, it needs to provide a future economic benefit. So it could be that by holding the asset, you're able to generate future cash flows or it could be that the asset is going to grow in value and you can later sell it for a capital gain. Uh, it's also worth noting that one of the most important assets there are is cash. Now, cash doesn't exactly generate cash flows on its own, but you can see that it provides a future economic benefit in that in the future you will exchange cash for something that you need. So now we'll have a look at liabilities. And the definition of liabilities mirrors that of assets. So we had three key characteristics for assets, and it'll be the same with liabilities. Instead of ownership and control, you have an obligation with a liability. Now, similar to an asset, the obligation, like the ownership and control of an asset, had to arise from a past event. So at some point, you took out the liability. And instead of you expecting to receive a future economic benefit, you are expecting to eventually pay out an economic benefit to somebody else. So this one involves an outflow of economic benefits, whereas assets involve a future inflow of economic benefits. So the two mirror each other. And now, of course, the most common form of liability is a loan. You t borrow money with somebody else and you have an obligation in the future to pay them out. The loan arose from a past event, the past event being you, you know, signing a contract. And in the future, you are expecting to have to pay the loan back. So that is the future outflow of economic benefits. Now we've defined assets and liabilities, but we have not yet defined equity. And in order to do that, instead of coming up with another sentence and going over more key characteristics, I think it would be easier to just go straight on to the accounting equation. So the accounting equation is as follows. Assets are equal to liabilities plus equity. We know what assets are, and we know what liabilities are, equity, the definition can effectively be derived from this equation. It is the difference between assets and liabilities. 
So the way you can interpret this is that equity is all of the wealth you've generated as represented by your assets that does not come with a liability. So it's all the wealth you've generated that you received without the condition that you eventually need to pay it back. So having a look at this equation, if we just think about basic algebra, if you make a change to one side of the equation, you must make an equal change to the other side of the equation. So this is the foundational principle behind double entry bookkeeping. When your assets increase, it must be because you've got an increase in liabilities. So it's assets you've got by borrowing, or it must be increasing along with an increase in equity. So that would be sort of when you make a profit or when somebody invests capital that they are not expecting you to pay back in the form of a loan. Cut study time with concise video summaries by top students. Visit SpoonFeedMe.com to view more free videos in this course and hundreds of others.